Okay, so before, before I do my act, I just have a little bit of introduction, something that is not part of my act, but it's perfect for the occasion, you know, because birthdays, they make you think about the craziest things for some reason. And, um, you know, when people ask you how old are you, and um, if you're in your 20s, you know, you can tell them, and then if, you, if you're in your 30s, well, never mind. But anyway, so this is a little poem that I just wrote, How Old Are You? How old are you? As old as I can be. As old as what I feel inside and think. As old as what I eat and what I drink. As old as dance that stays a part of me. How old am I? As long as old as I now look. As long as I can smile, enjoy each day. As long as I'm young enough to play. My age cannot advance or go away. I am as old as a romantic book. What is my age? Who cares what it is? As long as flowers bloom, age can't go wrong. As long as my guitar relives each song. As long as on the stage my will is strong. My age is full of things as great as this. So now you know, I'll stay forever young. If I believe in joy and happiness, if I envision courage and success, instead of no, more often I'll say yes. I'm young until my song is fully sung. But if you still will ask my age, I'll say, I'm one day older now than yesterday. Well, that was kind of a, you know, for the occasion, but now to the, to the main part. Um, you know, I wanted to do, like, like Russ said, something that, oh, by the way, we, we totally planned it that way, you know, that our birthdays are on the same day. So, <laughs> even back when I was in Russia. Um, so, but anyway, I, I wanted to do something different, and I thought, okay, I've done poetry, um, comedy, guitar, and dance, and I thought, what haven't I done in the main show? And I, I know it sounds strange, but what I haven't done is actually a story which is not a poetry, which is not poetry. And I've written in my life, I don't know, 1,200 poems maybe, and, and only four or five stories, just to give you an idea, because people say it's hard for them to think in, in rhyme, but it's hard for me to think in prose, <laughs> lol. <laughs> so this is, yeah. Um, so this is uh, the story that I wrote. The place was beautiful, full of bright flowers, playing fountains, green grass, blossoming trees, colorful butterflies, and beautiful sunshine. I didn't know where I was, why I appeared here, and whether any people existed in this place. Then a loud, low tone voice said, you are in the afterlife, welcome. Somewhere from the distance, a beautiful woman walked in my direction. She looked fabulous with strong presence, flamboyant features, big curly hair, and interesting clothes. She was holding a nice bright bouquet of flowers and a thank you card. I wondered who she was. The voice from above said, this is your good friend. Do you recognize her? You've spent so much time together during your life. I was confused. First of all, I learned that I'm dead or dreaming about it. Second, I couldn't recall seeing her face before. Then she introduced herself. You don't remember me? My name is Facebook. <laughs> she, she did look quite quite popular and likable. I just never imagined seeing her in a human form. <laughs> she was very happy to see me. She said we were such good friends. <laughs> we spent hours and hours on end together. We used to hang out for two, three hours a day and do stuff with each other. Uh, well, I was glad to see her too, but I was sure she was exaggerating. 
I mean, yes, we spent time, but not as much. She smiled, and that smile was like, like a snake smiles before savoring its victim. She handed me the flowers and a thank you card and said how much she appreciated my devotion to her and my good friendship throughout my life. And that's when the moment came that made me shiver and my knees collapse and go weak as if I was going to fall through the ground. A frightening feeling, a premonition came over me. She took out a long scroll of paper with a bunch of things recorded on it. I asked what it was. This is a list of things you missed in your life, things you did not achieve by giving all your time to me, she said. I screamed that I did not give her that much time. She gave me the list. On it were things like my book that was never made and published, my poems that were never submitted to different magazines, the songs I never learned to play on guitar, the people and places I didn't see and didn't go when I was too busy doing stuff with her, and countless projects, some of which I didn't even realize I wanted to do. Then she laughed and got out something looking like weed and began to inhale it. What are you doing, I asked. Why are you smoking that? Are you a drug addict? She looked at me, piercing me with her hypnotizing eyes and replied, no, you are. What? I never smoked anything, I said. She looked at me with a grin. You are an addict. You were a Facebook addict all your life. You checked your statuses every 15 minutes, if not more often. You spent hours daily replying, commenting, checking, messaging, reading. I became nauseous and lightheaded. Things looked like they were spinning around me. Her words pierced me with the truth, cold truth that was never obvious to me in a stretch of each hour, each day, or even a week. I never thought about a cumulative effect. I was an addict. She told me it was too late, and this is the life I chose to have, and my life was now over. As I stood there in a strange magic place called afterlife, I looked around me with every intention to get another chance at life. I wanted to achieve and get things done. I wanted the possibility of doing it all better the second time around. I won't, I won't. I kept saying it like mantra over and over again. At the last moment, I saw a strange looking glowing stick by my feet on the ground. I picked it up, waved it like a wand, and the fire erupted, the flame burst, burning her image and getting rid of all the traces of the afterlife world, bringing me back to the present, where it wasn't too late to realize a dream. I just want to... Um, Thank you. I just want to conclude with a quick, with my favorite quote about Facebook. Uh, you know those postcards that people share with each other. So it like has a man on it, and he says, "Thank God for Facebook, or else I would have to call 400 people and tell them what I had for breakfast." <laughs>